Okay, I'm on a roll now. So we're going to do um, endocytosis and exocytosis. Now, both of these are methods that I would call bulk transport. So this is for taking stuff in that's big or needing big quantities. And it's, um, so we're talking about cells, we're talking about maybe big proteins, we're talking about taking in large volumes of liquids. If we're taking in something solid, we can call that phagocytosis. That's from the Greek meaning cell eating cytosis. I can't spell. If we're talking about liquids, we're talking about pinocytosis. Again, from the Greek meaning to drink. So this is cell eating, cell drinking. Phagocytosis, pinocytosis. And the principle works on the fact that the membrane is a fluid, as we have done a number of times now. So if we're looking at endocytosis, you might be talking about the membrane. We've got a little particle of a something that we want to take in, maybe a whole cell, maybe a big protein. This is the way that amoeba feed. So the membrane kind of loops round. that particle and it loops around so far that the membranes can meet. Now membranes can obviously fuse and break off as we saw with the Golgi body taking vesicles and that vesicle can then move into the cell. Now if it's a food particle, we would call that in an animal cell, we would call it a food vacuole and it's going to come along and um, a lysosome will come along and digest it. So this will be the outside and this is the inside. So now we've got our whatever it is that we're taking in inside the cell and enclosed in a vesicle just in case it's dangerous. The same thing for liquids. So features of cells that do a lot of endocytosis, do a lot of engulfing, you would see around the edge of the cell membrane lots of these sort of clear, on an electron micrograph, clear uh, vesicles very close to the membrane. Same for exocytosis, so cells that do a lot of exocytosis the same. So if we are um, Looking at exocytosis, we're looking at the cell membrane and we want to get something out. So if we're talking about a protein secretion, we might have our enzyme, mucus, whatever it is, inside of a vesicle, which is then going to move to the cell membrane. So we just label our outside again. So our vesicles made by the Golgi body, if they contain a secretion, are going to need to be moved to the outside of the cell. The process is almost exactly the opposite of endocytosis. So our vesicle is going to fuse with the cell membrane. Oh. And... The cell membrane will then sort of flatten out and miraculously our secretion has been moved to the outside of the cell. And um, again, if you've got lots of Golgi body in your cell and you're making a lot of, you know, so the goblet cells, that sort of inside of the goblet will just be uh, a wash with these vesicles all moving from Golgi body and fusing with the membrane to release things outside. It is, um, so here we'd be talking about secretion and here we're talking about engulfing. 
and you need to be able to apply that to any secretion and anything that is going to be engulfed.